Sioux Falls man accused of murder and the death of his eight-week-old baby was back in court today for a past crime. Dylan Castamore appeared at the Lincoln County Courthouse via video from the Minnehaha County Jail. Castmore has a history of abuse and was in and out of jail and the court system before the death of his baby boy. The timeline leading up to his arrest on a murder charge shows someone who's been in trouble with the law but appears to have avoided jail time. On March 1st, he was accused of assaulting a family member and preventing her from calling for help. According to police, she was trying to call 911 when he took her phone, broke it, and assaulted her and threatened her. On March 4th, he was released on bond on the condition that he have no contact with that family member. In July, he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to two years in the state pen. The sentence was suspended and he was placed on probation, so he wasn't required to serve any time. Since then, Castamore has been accused of violating probation twice. He was sentenced for the first violation in October. One month later, court papers say Castamore brought baby Daxton to the ER with a black eye and claimed the child was attacked by a cat. Five days later, on November 27th, Daxton was brought back to the hospital where the infant died of a head injury. Castamore is currently being held on $1 million bond. He will be back in court on January 12th in Lincoln County for a probation violation and January 14th in Minnehaha County on the murder charge. Now we also tracked down three domestic abuse cases against Castamore in Minnehaha County and the most serious of the cases, he pleaded guilty to choking a woman in 2018. In that case, he was sentenced to five years in prison with five years suspended. He was also ordered to undergo anger management classes. One year later, he was convicted of assaulting another woman in Minnehaha County. Despite the suspended sentence hanging over his head, he was sentenced to 90 days in jail and that sentence was also suspended. And Castamore isn't the city's only homicide suspect who had prison or jail time hanging over his head at the time of the crime. There have been two other cases just this year. The man charged with speeding, running a red light, and killing two Sioux Falls students earlier this year also had a suspended sentence. According to court papers, Tayton Stebbins was drunk and had cocaine in his system when he caused the deadly crash in May. He had been arrested a year earlier for speeding, drugs, and DUI and sentenced to five years in prison. The full sentence was suspended. The man accused of an August murder was let out of jail just three days before the crime. Asher Parks is accused of shooting and killing a 19-year-old man at a Central Sioux Falls apartment. Police had arrested him days earlier for threatening to stab a different man. Rather than stay in jail, he was released on a PR bond, meaning he didn't have to pay any money. He just had to appear at his next court hearing.